right, boys, we are back, and it's time for the Stanley Cup Finals of Year 8. Your Tampa Bay Lightning are going up against the Dallas Stars. And you know what? We're on a pretty good run. It's been a great uh, playoff so far in Year 8. Our first round was against the Boston Bruins, and we were trailing 3-0. We came back to win in seven games, winning four in a row. We then swept the Winnipeg Jets to make it eight in a row, and then we swept the Pittsburgh Penguins to basically make it 12 in a row, okay? So after those first three losses, after we made the change to have Sub-Zero in there instead of Bernie Mac, we've gone 12 and 0. But a big problem happened in game four of uh, the Eastern Conference Finals against Pittsburgh. Uh, Sub-Zero, the guy who got us here, the guy who was 12 and 0 in the playoffs so far, got injured. So we got to put the three-time Conn Smythe winner back in the cage. Oh yeah, such a bad, such a bad situation for us. But still, I wanted to see Subban go all the way, man. I wanted to, this, the kid deserved it, you know what I mean? So we don't have Lofthouse in our lineup, and we don't have Sub-Zero in our lineup. But if the series goes to six games, he may, he may be back by then. So it's not the end of the world, and Bernie Mac, we've seen him perform before. Um, overall, he's a better goalie, but still, he's not playing like the better goalie right now. So uh, we know what our team's about. Let's check out the Dallas Stars. I don't think I've ever faced these guys in the uh, in a playoff series, even when I had a Western team. All right. Um, they don't get good, apparently, until the later years, so it should, this should be interesting here. Uh, okay, so the first line, Jamie Ben Molin, who's uh, obviously a rookie, 87 overall, not bad. And uh, Kubina, I think that was actually one of our guys that we traded for Daig, the goaltender from Dallas. Um, yeah, one of the power forwards from before. All right, so that first line, it's not bad. I mean, Jamie Ben I know, has a good offensive category. I don't know about that Molin guy. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's got a good offensive category for a sniper. And Kubina, um, he didn't have the greatest defensive category. He was more of an offensive power forward. That's why I got rid of him, because we already had plenty of other power forwards. So it's not a bad first line, but ours is definitely better. All right, uh, second line, Erickson, Maxwell, and uh, Roadwald. You see what I mean? These guys don't get good until the later years. Look, they pretty much have uh, rookies on every single one of their lines here. Uh, Louis Erickson is good. He's getting old, though, for sure in this game. Uh, Maxwell, he's a younger guy. I don't know too much about him, but uh, I'm sure his offensive category is not too bad. And that Roadwald guy, he's a two-way forward, so his overall is always lower. So he may have, you know, 85s everywhere. So it might not be a bad player. But uh, still, the second line for us is definitely better. Third line, Hamilton, Glennie, and uh, Monaghan. There's Sean Monaghan. Uh, that's a third line full of rookies. I know Glennie's not bad. Monaghan wasn't bad either, so it's not a bad third line. And then the fourth line, Smith, Bergeron, and Farrell. Um, you know what? I'll give it to them that they have depth everywhere. I mean, their lowest player overall-wise is 82, and that's Roadwald on the second line. But then they have a bunch of 83s, 84s, and an 85 on the third and fourth line. So they do have depth. Same thing that the Boston Bruins had, and the Bruins took us to seven. Uh, Winnipeg and Pittsburgh, they didn't have any depth. They had a good top six, but they didn't have any depth. So uh, this team, they don't have any superstar wildcard studs. Jamie Benn's almost up there, but still 91 right now is uh, this late in the GM is uh, pretty, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, uh, you know what I mean. Jeez, you see a lot of them. Uh, so, but they do have the depth there on the third and fourth line, right? Defensively, Trevor Daly, 88, Golikowski, uh, 88, so it's a pretty good first line. Uh, defensive defenseman and an offensive defenseman, all right, not too bad. Second line, boys, 84, uh, CC, 84, all right, it's not too bad. Ours is definitely better. We got the better defensive core once again. And then the third line, really not that good. Ness, an 81 offensive defenseman. He may have a really good offensive category like Beaulieu in his earlier years. Uh, and then McIlrath or McIlwraith, uh, 83 tough guy. That's really not the greatest. So defensively, I don't think they, apart from Trevor Daly and Golikowski, uh, they really don't have anyone too outstanding, all right? So offensively, they have depth. Defensively, they're fairly weak. And is it, no, it's not Kari Lettinen. Jack Campbell, I think. He's a young goalie, but he's only 88 overall. Um, now, Bernie Mack is back in, and I know he's better than Jack Campbell. For sure he is. I think his first name is Jack. But still, we don't have, uh, have Sub-Zero in there, and that was my main guy. So it's going to be an interesting series. I think the Boston Bruins had a better team than these guys. Um, but they made it here for a reason. They were the third seeded team, I believe. So anything can happen here, right? So here we go. Year eight, Stanley Cup Finals against the uh, Dallas Stars. We're going for back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, all right? So here we go. Let's just get it going here. Game one in Tampa Bay. What's going to happen here? First period. All right, we got a goal. Piero Zobatel, man. This guy's getting some goals for us. Way to go. He's, uh, he's filling in for Trent Lofthouse quite nicely, I must say. 
All right, way to go. Second period. All right, we got one. They got one as well. Harper. Harper and Zobatel, our young rookies, stepping it up in the Stanley Cup Finals. Louis Erickson got a power play goal for them. Yep. All right, we need one more goal. Bernie Mac can hold it down. Oh, Sean Monahan comes back to bite us in the ass. Ties the game up. There you go, Nick Ritchie. Nick Ritchie, baby. All right, Bernie Mac, you've already allowed one. Can you have the routine? Don't allow another in the third period. Come on, boys. Step it up for Bernie. Oh, my God. There it is. Short-handed goal for Dustin Brown. What a clutch goal that was. We had to kill a power play off. At the end of the game, Dustin Brown goes in and finishes it with a dagger. It wasn't a game winner, but it was a dagger. Short-handed goal. So, our support players, Dustin Brown, Richie Mon uh, not Monahan, uh, Harper, and Zobatil, they all stepped up for us that game. And Bernie Mac played good, boys. Two goals against and 34 shots, that's good. And he had the routine. He allowed one goal in the third period, but if we had that two-goal lead, it wouldn't have mattered, all right? So, yep, Bernie Mac had the third star. He had a good game. He had a good game, all right? And Nick Ritchie and Dustin Brown, whew, three points for Brown, two points for Nick Ritchie. I'm liking that first line. That first line of... Uh, Richie, Brown, and the news they are clicking together. All right, so there you go. There's one. Um, I just love to... No, Subban's not going to come back just yet. I'm, maybe after four, after game four, he could come back because it usually is a few days early. Like, he'll still be injured, but he can play. But, I mean, if we win three in a row, I might just have to run with Bernie Mac, right? I just... I wouldn't want to change any... Well, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I'm not going to get ahead of myself here, all right? Here we go, boys. Game two in Tampa Bay. We're on a, what, 13-0 streak right now. Keep it going. Let's just keep it going. First period. All right, 0-0. All right, and Bernie Mac stopped 14 shots in that first period. Way to go, Bernie Mac. Second period. All right, we both got one. Stamco steps it up. Way to go. And Ness gets one for them. Who was Ness? Was it like a third-line defenseman? I can't even remember that guy. All right. Third period, boys. Come on, somebody step it up. Power play for us. Come on. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There it is. Shattenkirk. This guy gets some clutch goals, man. He really does. Oh, Dustin Brown. He gets back-to-back -back goals in, in consecutive games. Way to go, Dusty. And Bernie Mac's got the routine now. Bernie Mac has another good game. 35 shots on the net only allows one goal. Bernie Mac, he knows he's playing for his career here in Tampa Bay. He's got a good contract here. He's got a good situation. He doesn't want to leave. Sub-Zero stepped it up. He's got to play for his uh, his Tampa Bay life. He gets the first star. Way to go, Bernie Mac. Way to go. All right. Maybe it's not the goalie that's playing uh, amazing on our teams right now. Maybe it's just our defense after we did the best lines. Everything is just clicking right now. And there you go. There's another. Malcolm Subban is available to play in the team's next game. All right. I got to do it. I got to put him back in there. All right. If he loses one, I'll go back to... Uh, yeah, if he loses one, I'll go back to uh, Bernie Mac because we're, all, we're what, 2-0 and with him in the cage. He's played good in the last two games. Um, oh, wait, wait, what am I doing? Um, that's my bad. Hang on a sec. Dave, go down. Uh, Subban, you come up. Cotton, you go back down. There you go. All right, but he got us here, so I have to uh, I have to respect that. So Subban, you can go in. But if we lose one game, oh man, I might be I, I might be messing with the chemistry right now. Bernie Mac's pissed, man. Bernie Mac is so pissed off right now. Whatever, you got to give it to uh, Subban. Sub Zero, he got us this far. All right, I'm running with Subban here. All right, but Bernie Mac, don't worry, stay ready because if the injury gets to Subban, we might have to take him back out. All right. First period of game three. We're 14 and 0 in our last 14 games. All right, Jesus. Here we go now. We're in Dallas. First period. All right, they got one. Kubina. So, so far, Monahan and Kubina have both scored goals against their old team. That's okay. Piero Zabatel, Zobatel. Oh, my God. This guy is scoring goals for us. Way to go, buddy. Second period. All right, we got another one. Ekman Larson. All right, so we got the lead going into the third period. Come on, boys. Step it up for uh, Sub-Zero. Get, get him another goal. There it is, Stamkos. He's getting goals in this playoffs. He's definitely getting some key goals for us. And Sub-Zero how now has a routine. And Piero Zobatel gets another goal. Holy crap, this guy's stepping it up. He wants a starting job here in Tampa Bay. And Sub-Zero. And another one, a hat-trick. A hat-trick for Piero Zobatel. And it wasn't even an empty netter. It was a straight-up hat-trick. Holy crap, way to go, kid. Way to go. And uh, Sub-Zero has another game. 40 shots on the net, only allows one goal. And look at this. GM Superman looks like a genius now with these two goalies. All right? Going back to that trade in year one, I think it was like Timu Solani and Shane Doan for Bolu, Subban, and a first-round pick, which turned into L Lovetos. 
I'm telling you, Bolu and Subban turned out to be pretty good players, don't you think, boys? Uh, that trade really came back to help us. Hell yeah. And now we are 15-0 and in our last 15 games. Unbelievable. The Dallas Stars just have nothing for us. They got nothing for us. No injuries either. They just, they can't stop this team. This team is just, I mean, we are officially a team. I mean, I got to run with Subban here. It doesn't even matter what happens. I don't think they can win four in a row against us. I'm not going to jinx it, but we'll see what happens here, all right? Game four, Stanley Cup is in the building. I don't care if we win it on uh, on the road. It doesn't matter. Let's go 16-0 in these playoffs. Or, well, not 16-0, but 16-0 in our last 16. 16-3 in total. Let's just do it, boys, all right? First period. All right, they got one. Granny Smith got one, though, to tie it up. Granny Smith had a great playoff run so far, but he can still get some more points for us, all right? Second period. All right, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, okay. Their goalie's playing pretty good. We got 27 shots on the net. They only have 12. Come on, boys. Somebody step it up for Sub-Zero here. Somebody step it up for Sub-Zero. Let him go undefeated in the playoffs. Oh, Monahan. Monahan wants to get revenge. Oh, Bergeron. Oh, Sub-Zero letting in some goals here. That's all right. Don't worry about it, Subban. Doesn't look like our offense could get any goals scored for you. Don't worry about it, Subban. Three goals and 19 shots. It's okay. That's his first loss in the playoffs. But you know what? We had 38 shots on the net. Their goalie stepped it up. They're playing on front of their home ice fans in the Stanley Cup final. They don't want to get swept. That That is just embarrassing. Uh, you got to expect that they were going to win one game. So... That's all right. Don't worry about it. Subban didn't have the greatest game, but you know what? We didn't score any goals for him, so I'm not really uh, not really worrying about that at all. Don't worry about it, boys. Don't worry about it, all right? Come back home, and now we can win the Stanley Cup back on home ice. We'll send the scout back out. Um, I'll go for defenseman. Hang on. Um, top five. five. He's already got scouted. Two top tens here. We'll go after these guys six weeks. There you go. All right, back on home ice. Sub-Zero. I'm going to give you one more chance, all right? If you don't get this one, we're going to go back to Burning Mac for Game 6. And if we don't get that one, Subban can start Game 7, all right? But uh, let's see what happens here. Game 5, Stanley Cup is in the building in Tampa Bay. Come on, boys. Let's get this out of here. Here we go. First period. All right, we got one. Steven Stamkos, Captain Stamkos. He definitely had a better playoff run this year than previous years. Definitely did. Way to go. And he's getting some clutch goals for us here. Second period. All right, we got another. They got two, though. They got two on Sub-Zero. Erickson and Glenny. Dustin Brown had his third goal of the series. All right, big third period here. It can go either way. Let's get a quick one. Let's get that lead. Let's not fall behind. Good penalty kill. Another penalty kill. Power play for us. Come on, boys. It's the four-minute. Oh, no. Come on. Somebody step it up. The Stanley Cup is on the line. Somebody. We're in overtime. Ah, oh, Granlund! Granlund! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Tampa Bay media who said to trade him. This guy gets nothing but clutch goals, and he gets an overtime game-winning Stanley Cup goal. Oh, my God. $3 million a season? Hell yes, I'll take Granny Smith. Hell yes, I'll take Granny Smith. And Subban wins the Stanley Cup. Oh, he goes through the playoffs, getting us through the first, second, third. Injured through the beginning of the fourth round. But he comes back, only has one loss in the playoffs. I think he had like 12 wins or something like that. Unbuff. freaking leaveable. Subban gets the first star. Tyler Sagan gets the second. And Granlin, Granny Smith, gets the game winner in overtime to win the Tampa Bay Lightning, their fifth Stanley Cup, or fourth Stanley Cup, sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. Beautiful Granny Smith. Beautiful. freaking leaveable <laughs> Oh my god. Everyone who was saying to trade him, oh, what do you got to say now, man? Granny Smith belongs on this team. You give him the right minutes and give him the right players to play alongside of, he can produce. He can definitely produce, all right? So let's check out the player stats here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We did it. Malcolm Subban has proved that he's a number one starter, and this is going to be a big question going into the offseason. I mean, if I can afford everyone, I want to keep them both because it's good to have, you know, again, if one of them get injured, the other one comes in. It's, it's not a bad idea to keep them both and give Subban the equal opportunity in the regular season next year. But uh, if we can't afford everyone, I think... I think Bernie Mac might have to go because Subban definitely stepped it up. But we'll get into that later. Right now, it's, it's, it's a celebration, bitches. All right, here we go. Granny Smith led our team in points in the playoffs. A point-a-game player. 20 points in 20 games. Way to go, Granny. Uh, the Nuge, 18 points in 20 games. Len Little, 16 points in 17 games. Tyler Sagan, 14 and 20. Steven Stamkos, 14 and 20, but he led our team in goals with nine. All right, that's more like the Steven Stamkos, uh, like in the real. All right, more goals than assists. All right, way to go, Stamkos.
Oh, excuse me. Uh, Braden Shen, 14 points and 20. Dustin Brown had a good final round. Uh, Nick Ritchie, he, he proved that. You know what? If you put him on the first line, he can get points. That's pretty good for a first line guy who's got like no 80s in the uh, offensive category, man. That's pretty good. Piero Zobatel, this guy. Look at this guy. Seven goals, one assist in 15 games. Pretty good for a rookie. Harper, same thing. Had a bit more assist than Zobatel. All right, Lemieux, not bad down, down there. Lofthouse was injured, poor guy. He'll come back strong next year. And a golden two points, all right? Everyone was a plus player except for a golden. Don't worry about that. The fourth liners are always going to be up there. All right, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's check out our defensemen. I think it was Bolu and Shattenkirk really stole the show this year. Uh, Ekman Larson, oh, Ekman Larson actually led our team. Never mind. Bolu, Shattenkirk, Hedman only had seven. That's all right. Bowen really stepped it up. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to keep Bowen on our team. Either Bison or Fenske are gonna be dropped because Bowen. I mean, he proved that you put him in there. He's got a great defensive category, and he's younger. We could probably sign him long term if his uh, contract comes up this year for uh, very cheap. So we're gonna have to take a look at that. But it's also a year that we gotta sign Ekman Larson and a uh, and Len Little. So maybe Ekman Larson has played his last game in Tampa Bay. Possibly, possibly. If he wants like seven or eight mil, hell yeah, man. Uh, Bernie Mac, he only played seven games. Subban played 15. Look at the difference in goals against average. 1.16 for Subban. 2.62 for Bernie Mac. But that's all because of the first three games against Boston. All right, Subban was 12-1 in the playoffs. A save percentage of .960. All right, but Bernie Mac did get us the first two games in the Stanley Cup Final to uh, to give Subban an easier job in the Stanley Cup Final. So, I mean, again, if I can keep them both, that's a great one-two punch. If injuries happen, which they can, all right, uh, come next playoffs. Uh, but if I can't... I will be trading away Bernie Mac. Subban has definitely made a push for the number one job. He's got a longer contract at a cheaper price. Hell yeah, Subban has definitely stepped up here for us, all right? So there you go. There's the points. Let's just go to the playoff tree. Unbelievable. Actually, you know what? Screw the playoff tree. Let's go to the GM tracker, all right? Another year, we won the President's Trophy, and another year, we won the Stanley Cup. And there you go, boys. It says fourth right now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just simulate up a day. Uh... Yeah, yeah, replaces players, doesn't matter. Outstanding job, bringing home the Stanley Cup is something every owner dreams about. I know, I've done it again for you, Tampa Bay. I've done it again for you. Unbelievable, this team is just unstoppable right now. And there you go, boys. The fourth time in five years the Tampa Bay Lightning has won the Stanley Cup. I think it's the third time in four years we won the President's Trophy. Yeah, 15, 17, oh no, no, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, 15, 17, and 18, we won the Presidents. So we are officially a dynasty, possibly the best team since the Edmonton Oilers, maybe even better than the Edmonton Oilers with this team right now. I mean, good God, look at this, three Presidents trophies in the last four years, four Stanley Cups in the last five years, that one first round exit was a bit of a, a, a road bump, but that's okay, man, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, our team is just... If I, if I didn't make the playoffs for the rest of the uh, time that I have in Tampa Bay, it's still been a successful tenure as GM, all right? So there you go, Tampa Bay. We've done it once again, and we've seen the emergence of a new superstar stud goalie, Malcolm Sub-Zero Subban. Unbelievable, and he's back, all right? So going into offseason, we have a lot of things to do. Len Little's got to be signed. Ekman Larson's got to be signed. We barely have any salary cap. Dustin Brown has probably played his last game in Tampa Bay. That's going to free up $4 million, all right? We've got we to gotta figure out what we're going to do, boys, but I'll say, I said it before, I'll say it again. If I can keep Bernie Mac and Subban, I want to, but Len Little and Ekman Larson have a priority over Bernie Mac, all right? I'll say that for sure. All right, boys, so in the next video, we will take care of the complicated offseason for the Tampa Bay, but for right now, celebrate, boys. We won the Stanley Cup. Go out and party tonight, boys. There you go. I'll see you guys in the next video.